built this thing, which is a 3D printed Pelton wheel on magnetic bearings. And it made me think about this, because this spun at some crazy speed. And if you can spin these things at a high speed, you can get quite decent generation out of them. So I was wondering, could we convert a PC fan motor into a water generator by sticking a Pelton wheel on it? Scaled it to size, printed it out, cleaned it up, and all I theoretically have to do is stick that on there, break those blades off and I've got myself a generator. Now I did do the adaptation from motor to generator on this and there it is with the blades removed and the Pelton wheel stuck on. So now we can put it back on. There we go. We get a water jet on that. We'll be able to spin that. We'll see what it does. Bolts out of that. <laughs> 160 milliamps. Okay, so that thing howled around. You really could hear it whining as it goes. Now, it produced about a watt, a watt and a half, something like that. And when you think about the way they uh, actually do these on the wind turbine ones, a watt and a half is pretty impressive stuff for what is essentially a 3D printed disc, which probably cost about a penny. And then this, which I got for free. So we have a real little generator there. Pelton turbines are okay, but they're not the real uh, be-all and end-all. There is an alternative called the turbo turbine. So I went straight back to Thingiverse and found a turbo turbine. It's amazing what you can find on Thingiverse and of course 3D printed it. So what we're going to do is exactly the same thing and compare the two. We have a turbo turbine blade that we're going to glue onto our PC fan. Then we have our Pelton wheel turbine blade glued onto our PC fan. Now it's dead easy to do this. You just pick off that back there, remove the little washer and the whole thing comes out. Then you snap off the blades, give it a sand, glue the turbine bit onto the top, hey presto you're done. Now there isn't much need to worry about an awful lot of this stuff because what's in here are some coated wires. So if I pull that off, there we go. There is no electronics in there. All we've got in there is some magnet wire coated in an insulating coat with a couple of wires soldered to it because we've removed the circuit board. So you can protect this from the water if you like. It's dead simple. Just dip it in some varnish or dip it in some rubber coating material like uh, this stuff. Plasti dip. Leave it to dry. It'll shrink down and it's waterproof. That's all you have to do. So now we've got our thing prepared. Let's just snap off those blades and glue on our turbo turbine wheel. Okay, so there's our turbo turbine with PC fan. Put a little light on it here and we've got our jet. We have to aim it at 20 to 30 degrees. And you can hear it actually, and it's pretty bright. So that'll be given out about three or four watts. Okay, I didn't bother measuring it particularly, we just lit this light. You probably got about three or four watts out of it, which is pretty good for a PC fan. Anyway, that's to demonstrate a Turgo Pico turbine, which can be made super simply with from um, a PC fan. If you're worried about it, waterproof it with varnish, turn that tiny jet on it, and you're gonna be able to generate some watts out of it. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because it is super simple. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.